Former president of the Nigerian Bar Association, Dr. Olisa Agbakoba San, on Thursday said that the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission ought not to have been in existence as insisted that the commission currently operates outside the constitution. The senior advocate of Nigeria who made the call while speaking with newsmen in Lagos insisted that the 1999 constitution only provides one police force for Nigeria, adding that since the anti-graft agency was not a branch of the police, it could not perform its functions. He pointed out that the EFCC was a federal establishment created by the National Assembly, adding that under Section 4 of the 1999 Constitution, the powers of government are divided into two, the federal and the state. The human rights lawyer, however, said that he was not fighting the commission as he was one of the greatest supporters of the rule of law and the fight against corruption, noting that the real issue was about the failure of the security agencies to obey the rule of law. Abakoba, however, said as a demonstration of his goodwill towards the anti-graft agency, he was ready to engage the EFCC chairman, Abdul Rashid Bawa, in a dialogue session on the issue. The former NBA president said he does not believe that the EFCC understands the law that is set up because as a lawyer himself, he was confused as he discovered that the 1999 constitution is structurally defective. Abakoba had lambasted the EFCC last December over its recent actions against the Kogi state government. Federalism means two autonomous and independent governments. Now, if that is correct, then the EFCC has no right to go to a state uh, public account to say, we want to probe you, because they have no power. The other point to note is that the EFCC is a federal establishment enacted by the National Assembly. And under Section 4 of the um, Constitution, powers of government are divided into two, federal and state. So I'm going to make an offer to the chairman of the EFCC that I had initially spoken about going to court, but in the course of my research for the case, I can see why you might be making mistakes. So I'm ready to have a dialogue. Let us have a dialogue so as to understand exactly what the position is. Because the confusion caused by the Constitution is enormous. And I can see why they might be getting things wrong. If Mr. Bauer takes me up on that, then that's the end. So we resolve the matter by a process of mediation.